right, let's do this. Hello, beautiful people of the internet, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I have finally finished my fifth sketchbook. Now, this one has taken a while. Without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, yes. So, this is my first- oh my gosh, I didn't put the finish date. So, as you can see, I started this January 22nd, 2022, and finished this August 1st, 2022. And I forgot to mention, but Tech and Crosshair are here for moral support, because some of the art is a little ugh. Although, overall, I'm pretty proud of the sketchbook. So, on the first page over here, you see uh, I had that Tumblr text post about how to draw good. It's one of my favorite uh, things, and it really motivates me to do art and not worry about what's going to do well or whatever, or what people think will not, what people will think is good. So, if you've never seen it, it says, it's how to draw good. Fill 14 sketchbook. Bad stuff is good stuff because you made stuff. Do you like sparkle? Draw sparkle. Draw it, make your heart do the smiley emote. Remember to drink lots of wa lots of agua or bad time. <laughs> Don't stress, friend. All is well. Don't let anyone ruin your good mood, amigo. If they do, eat them. <laughs> so as you can see on my first page, these are my OCs. This is Rosalind and Alfie over Sketchbook 5. I spelt it wrong, and I actually just got around to finishing it as I was finishing the sketchbook. It's honestly just kind of funny at this point that I am a sophomore and I don't know how to spell words. <laughs> So here's the first page. This is, page is mostly stickers and other stuff, uh, but you have my goals, which we'll review at the end. Uh, Vans sticker from when I got Vans like two years ago, but I didn't know what to do with it. Uh, and then I have a plant sticker from a bunch of plant stickers my, my aunt sent me for Christmas. My favorite thing, I ordered a bunch of scrapbooking stuff from Etsy for pen paling, and it's my favorite thing. I don't know if you can see it. Ha ha ha, I have eaten the canary. But it, it, he's glorious. He's glorious. Uh, and then there's the sticker from that my dad gave me of a bear holding a gun, and I have no idea why. Star Wars. And this is a um, business card my friend made when we, like, last last year. But no, that was just last year. Never mind. Last year. When we uh, performed uh, the trial of the Big Bad Wolf in our drama, in our theater troupe. And he was the Big Bad Wolf and he had these business cards. <laughs> so I ha actually found one and then I stuck it in here. But I'm going to cover it because it actually has his phone number on it. Uh, but then a little deceit saying, shh. Deceit is another one of my OCs. And two more of my OCs. This is Eolanth. I actually don't know how to say her name. But let's pretend I know how to say my own OC's name. And then Rosalind saying, it's holding a sign that says that's pretty sus because that seems like something she would say. And this is like a true introduction page because I got my swatches here. So my friend has Copic, Copic markers. I don't. I use Ohuhu alcohol markers. Uh, and I was trying them out one day. So I swatched them all in here to see if they like performed any differently than my Ohuhus. And they don't really. So... I've decided I'm just not going to get Copics for, until I, like, I really, really want them. And this was later on throughout the sketchbook, but I came back. This is, like, a culmination of, like, lots of time because I have it, did not draw this all in order. I came back, like, halfway through the sketchbook. I got Posca paint pens, so I put them swatches here. And then it was my, this was, like, these are, like, in chronological order. Um, this, uh, were... Uh, we were at a restaurant for my dad's birthday, and I was asking my parents, what should I draw? So I, my dad said I should draw a Grogu, and then my mom said I should draw a birthday cake. So I did. And then I did this later on. Uh, it was a Draw This In Your Own Style. I don't remember who it was, but I found it on Pinterest, and I really liked it, so I used the character, and I drew it here. Uh, so if you see something like this on Pinterest, it probably, that was probably it. If I had the artist, I'd be able to credit them, but I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> And then later on, I also drew a little glitch pack here to fill in the space. And then these are two more of my OCs. I saw this meme, and I don't remember what it's from, but uh, uh, it's uh, Phoenix and Deceit. 
she also her also name is also death but you know plot reasons phoenix uh and says this is your badness level it's unusually high for someone of your size because she's very very tall and he's a short man <laughs> and then i drew kai down here another one of my ocs and a sticker this is when I was experimenting with changing my style to be more cartoonish, which I eventually did do, but much, much later on. Uh, this was a little comic I had idea. I never finished the drawing on the bottom, but I still really like how it turned out. Uh, Rory, is, these are all the characters, mine, if you don't know. If it's, it, I'm going to say if something's fan art, because most of the time it's just characters of my own that I draw. So this was a little comic, she's like saying, come in, come in, uh, the, sorry it's a bit messy, I wasn't expecting company, and it's like pristine, not a thing out of place, which she, which is very on brand for Rory, so that was what I was trying to do, like, oh, come in, because he lives in a little tree house by himself, and yes, but then I was experimenting with a cartoon style here, with uh, Makani, Ro Rosalind, and Alfie. This is what I saw in Kanto for the first time, and I loved it. <laughs> So I drew uh, Mirabelle, and uh, that was the wrong person, Mirabelle and Isabella, this is from po Pinterest pose, uh, Camilo and uh, Dolores, and then I did a big of Bruno, because Bruno was my favorite character. I actually redrew, redrew this digitally as well, I'll put that on right here. Yeah, so. And then I was kind of riding that high from watching that, so I decided to have some of my OCs who have similar powers to the Encanto characters meet them. So I had Rosalind and Peppa meet each other because they both have powers controlled by their emotions. And then little, little Edwin, like, um, okay. Uh, Omen and Bruno, because prophets, <laughs> kind of. And then Rory and Isabella because he has, like, plant growth powers. And then Callum and Camilla because Callum and all Castians, which is what the species that Callum is, are shapeshifters. So I drew them shapeshifting into each other because I thought that was fun. Uh, so this was a page I did. Uh, I was trying to redesign Deceit because I wasn't really happy with his design. And he's a very major character. At least, uh, sort of. And I was trying to do this. Not really happy with this. I did this at drama, so I didn't, my drama practice, so I didn't really have a lot of like pot, like pens and stuff so i mostly did this with uh my one of my tombow brush pens and uh, a highlighter <laughs> and then i was gonna do one for ambition who is deceit's part a like, little partner in crime over here and then uh, i never did so i made this little pocket which has this sketch i did it at uh, my youth group a letter from my friend a letter from my other friend and some stickers. This I think. Oh, and uh, oh, come on, it's stuck in the tape. Well, that's not good. The business card from an Etsy shop I bought stickers from. So if you want to check them out, really good stickers. Good, 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 good Kush. So. Uh, well, let's move on. <laughs> uh, and then this is when I started redesigning all of the main protagonists of Timeless, which is my comic. Well, not protagonists, but main characters. And it's also the birth of Rin. Uh, Rin is the new main character. If you don't know, uh, quick, Edwin used to be the main character of my comic, and then I decided that it wouldn't be a really good, that gets all the points I wanted if he was the protagonist. So I created Rin, and I love him. I love them. So you see here, I did just little sketches. Uh, I actually did made a whole video about redesigning them. If you want to check it out, I'll link it in the eye guard. So Rosalind and Alfie, those two look very, very different. Uh, oh, I skipped a page. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. Never mind. <laughs> Rory, uh, which if you his design is actually not the same. Uh, in the in my video I made, he got a different design than this, and same with Soul. But I ended up reverting back to these designs because I actually really like them. This one and this one. Except for these shoes are amazing. Those are the shoes he still has. So Rory and Soul. Uh, Tremor, who got a little bit of a tweak. tweak. Bakani, and uh, ignore that. I forgot to put it in there. I changed her name. Her name used to be Swift, and now it's Stormy. Uh... But uh, these two are no longer major characters. They are more minor characters. So 
then the main villains, which I also have a video about, linked here. And Dante, Amina, who I love this drawing of. Uh, Alistair. That's not how you spell his name. It's spelled like Stare. Alistair. Uh, Ash, who got quite a bit of a redesign because I was not happy with her. Her design was much too simple. So, And then Stevie, who also got a redesign. She's more uh, Lolita just, uh, style now. Like the Japanese uh, street style. Uh, then... Uh, I decided to personify my cats <laughs> and make them little characters, so Rex and Ahsoka. I actually have a video about them, which I'll link as well. If I have too many links, I will put it in the description. And then I decided to draw all of Coral, who is the main character of one of my other story, all of her kids. This is not uh, their name anymore, because it doesn't make sense for a sci-fi story based in another universe altogether to have Mars, you know. So, but then there's Serafina and Vincent. I love Serafina. This is when I hit some pretty major art block. And I was just trying to do some shape language and like some just really loose stuff. Um, so I did Stormy and Makani here. And then I was trying to do some, draw, your, draw this in your style, but I was trying, didn't know what my style was. So I was just trying to do some loose stuff because I was not feeling it. This is a, uh, I was doing a birthday gift for my dad where I drew uh, him as a Jedi, so. And then a little Mirabelle. Hands. Trying to get myself back into art by doing just, just practice with my own hands. Tech. This was for my play that I did this, uh, this spring. I had to design a po I was designing a poster for a set. This was the original concept of that, uh, draw your, draw this in your style from the very beginning. This one. I did this concept first, but I wasn't really happy with my art style. This it didn't feel like me. I'm sorry, I bumped the camera, <laughs> so I changed it. Ah, Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> but I heard that song again for some reason, uh, and I really thought about it. And oh my gosh, it fits Seraphina's story. Where did you come from, and where did you go? It she it it doesn't really make sense because you don't know her story, but that's okay. Then I was drawing to see uh, again and ambition. I, took, I removed the scarf because no. You'll see these tabs a lot. Uh, I had done these tabs. Oh, I'll explain that in a second. I done these tabs to pages I needed to come back and finish. So I put that here. And if you're wondering what all these tabs are, these are all my favorite pages, which this one is one of. So I marked all my favorite pages because I can be really self-critical about art. So I tried to say, oh yeah, I really like this page, which most of them are towards the end because I got happy with my style then. And some more art block. I was trying to do some studies to uh, try to loosen up my style and just, you know, get back into it. More studies. I did the ones in uh, purple were the ones I liked the most and the ones in orange I were like, were like oh yeah, those are pretty good too. <laughs> so yeah, this is my favorite one. And then I was trying to do another eye style because I was really unhappy with my art style. I don't know why Stevie looks like this. She has pigtails. <laughs> and then I was trying to incorporate that art eye style I liked into some characters. And then I was trying to do, you know, those, you know, that style where they had like the big feet. I was curious. I thought it looked cool, so I might do it. But I was like, I got it right here. I don't know how to exaggerate without it looking weird, <laughs> which I soon figured out how to do. I'm still learning, but I figured a little bit of stuff out. So I drew Callum uh, and Pearl and Rin. Then, this is my first time ever doing a full finished illustration in watercolor, and I had so much fun. I've done watercolor several times since here, but I'm pretty happy with this. Ah, yes. Uh, this was when I was making my um, All About the Moonstone Key Chronicles video, which I will also link. And I, these were some thumbnails for the, each of the drawings of the founders, which I did. And then I drew a little Edwin up here. But I also was try, trying to draw more characters like the Guardians because I never draw them. So uh, it's, this is Verity. Uh, I, she's not a Guardian, but she is pretty important to their story. She doesn't look like this anymore. But then I did this little comic because I was thinking about the founders. And I did this, so it's a Tommy and Mare. Casted, if you leave, you're expelled from Callus. Uh, oh no, what a travesty. <laughs> like the sarcastic person they are. 
Uh, and then I really like this for the most part, except for it's only not and Mayor both look very, very young. He looks like a little boy. And this is when I started drawing like characters that I don't ever draw. These were all done at church, so these were all mostly done in ballpoint pen, which uh, I'm really proud of because I'm not good at accepting mistakes <laughs> and being uh, more fluid with my art, which I've done better at recently throughout the rest of the sketchbook. So I drew Duction, Intelligence, Ray, Ariella, uh, Nemesis, War, and Crescent, which I can never spell right. <laughs> Oh, and then I continued on. This was Creativity, Omen, Jealousy, and Chaos. Uh, but I really like this one, too. I was trying to do, like, you know, where they open the book and, like, the light comes out and, like, the story unfolds in front of them. But uh, Ayla, this is Ayla. She is a uh, history writer, but, like, a non-biased one because a lot of the uh, history in the galaxy is favored to, you know... <laughs> It's biased, so she's trying to write a non-biased account. And then this is stuff that happens in the story. You can try to figure it out. You probably won't because, you know, <laughs> yeah, that's all spoilers. And then more uh, drawings of Guardians here. So I did Faye, Message, Triumph, Exploration, and uh, Alua. This was a little thumbnail of something that was going to go here, but I never did it. And then these were all the shows I'd been watching. Uh, I drew Miss Marvel because I was really I was watching it at the time. This is much later. <laughs> like I came back to this page a lot later when I had all these tabs in. So and then Moon Knight because I finally finished that show and that was very very good. Kenobi because I was watching that one too. Ah, uh, this is a very very simple page. Uh, then I I did this little drawing of Elanth again because I was trying to get draw more wings. I'm not really good at drawing her wings, so I was trying to get better. I was drawing a hand because I was practicing. And then, uh, Bad Batch. This is one of those, like, bases, you know, that they see in Pinterest of, like, that are really chaotic. And I, I thought of them when I was doing it, so. I drew, uh, the Bad Batch. <laughs> so, is there an echo in here? Yes. What? I'm echo. Even though echo was literally not in this. Ah, this was one that came back, I uh, came back to finish later as well. So this is my actual style that I've started doing of my eyes a little bit more. And then I, this was actually originally what was on here. It is a very, very bad sketch of Ren wearing a shirt that has, says the element of surprise. And it's like a little periodic. It says, I am 90% bad science puns. And then I was drawing Raven from my, um, mystery novel that I can't tell any of you about anything really pretty much or it's spoilers and there's a little reduce around here which is a really big plot point so sing a song of sixpence pocket full of rye four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie and then I was drawing Stevie again which she looks a lot more edgy here than she actually is but uh I was experimenting with her having like a deck of like really like cards that she can manipulate with her mind or whatever and yeah, I did this entirely in Tombow markers, which was, it, it experienced to say the least. I don't normally do finished illustrations in water-based markers, so. <laughs> and then that drawing, that shirt made me really want to uh, draw more outfits with Rin. So uh, uh, most of their wardrobe is, you know, those you know, really tacky uh, shirts that have like really fun like weird like sayings that you probably we they're funny but you wouldn't wear it they wear it <laughs> so this one i wrote here what they are because you can't really see them if no but you can't really read what i'm saying as i said anyway so this one says i see no good reason to act my age this one says i am 25 percent funny and 85 percent bad at math this one says three to four voices in my head want to sleep the fourth wants to know if penguins have knees <laughs> And then I was drawing some other things. And this was like a four more formal outfit. And then this is the hoodie that Edwin wears. But it's actually because they gave it to them. Because it's their, uh, their merch, basically. Their streamer. A Twitch streamer. So, And then I drew the back on that. And then this was uh, two characters. This is Seraphina. Again, I forgot her hat. And Mabel, who is a pretty important character in Seraphina's story doing some thumbnails up here of uh for that uh, redesigning the timeless characters video because i wanted them to all look a little bit different <laughs> all their poses so i did some thumbnails up there dutch brother sticker 
these are all done in Posca pen, the little doodles here. And then I was trying to do different perspectives. This one was very, very lazily rushed. So for one point perspective, this one was also lazily rushed, two point perspective. And then this is the one I actually did good on, which was three point perspective, which is surprising because I never do good at three point perspective, but I actually tried, so, you know. This is another one of my favorite pages. This is um, all of Sol and his, uh, his siblings. Uh, this is an, I was going to say this is a spoiler, but I just made an animatic of this, you know. And it's more hand practice, and if you, if you ever see this anywhere, this is Mar Marian, which is a uh, language for my sci-fi novel. So if you see it anywhere, just it's just notes to myself. Uh, or spoilers, which also is written in Marian sometimes. <laughs> Uh, and then I was drawing, doing this drawing of Callum, because I wanted, I was writing, in the process of writing a song based on uh, their story, and Lorelai's story, um, so, this is, uh, I actually really like how this turned out for the most part. I wanted it to be super, super simple, so. Ah, yes. So then I was drawing, uh, my friend said this in a, I don't know what it's from, but my friend said this and it made me think of Tremor. So, and remember kids, everything's legal when the cops aren't around. It made me think of uh, them. And then uh, I drew Amina again with, this is when I decided that she would have dual swords and I really like it. This is one much, much later I did, which is of Stormy, uh, which you can tell the art style difference. <laughs> Uh, this is a drawing I did because I realized that Coral and all her siblings, her, not all her siblings, her uh, triple brothers are actually illegitimate, technically, because you know, they're royalty, but uh, yeah. So I thought that was another point of conflict that I would like. This is the main antagonist, Lorelai. This is actually a page I actually really like. I forgot to put a tab on here, but I really like this for the most part. I was trying to uh, experiment with body shape, with like body types and stuff, so I drew a uh, deduction. And then I <laughs> drew to see, you know, the one meme that's like all the knives pointing at that cat. I'll insert it here if I can find it. But I thought that fit his personality, so I put it there. And this is also when I redesigned a uh, Callum a little bit to give have, uh, have a gas mask, because I changed how the species worked. The which I'll explain. If you want to know more about that, it's in the beginning of my cosplay video I made, so also link that in the description. There's going to be a lot of things linked in the description, oh my gosh. And here's the concepts of uh, Sephestus. I actually don't know how to say her name, but uh, she is a very important antagonist of uh, my comic. I spelled her name wrong. Ignore that. It's supposed to be a T here, and then it's it. <laughs> Fiftist, I don't know. But then I was drawing all the characters except for Serafina from Serafina's story. So, uh, Nashira, Ember, Abilene, Mabel, Callista, River, Aspen, Amaryllis, and, Sor Amaryllis and Sorrel. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> this is kind of a plain page, but this is like one of my favorite drawings I've done. I really like how it, this is Kaya important characters. If you want to know anything about my story, I have most of uh, my stuff uh, in uh, the two videos of uh, everything, all about the Moonstone Key Chronicles and uh, redesigning uh, the heroes of Timeless and redesigning the villains of Timeless. If you want, if, so if you want to know anything, that's probably where everything's going to be. Unless it's like too new that I haven't done anything in that, on it yet. So I drew Ahsoka. I really like this one. I came back into this much, much later. Same with this glitch pad up here. And Boyd Kitty down here. And then there's Truce. And then I did this like little watercolor wash over this drawing I did of uh, Sephestus. Sephestus? I don't know. I still don't know how to say her name. Sephestus. Seftis. And then I did a little meet the artist because I was feeling it. I never quite finished it, but you know. So this is me, like our IRL, and then this is my persona. Well, this is much changed since then, but this used to be my persona. 
And this was a thumbnail page I did for my Who Broke It animatic slash git. But, uh, yeah. And then I did this little drawing of uh, Sol and Nola's siblings, which I really like. And then I did these two watercolor illustrations of uh, Crescent and Ray, the, the twins. <laughs> and I really like how these turned out, actually. I like this one much, much more than this one, but uh, I really like the constellations on it. Ah, yes, this page. I did this uh, kind of shaded. This is when I started getting into pencil shading with my pencil sketches uh, of Callum. <laughs> and then I did one up here of Tremor, uh, Bleach Bat, and I really like this one of Rory I did. This was a reference I found on Pinterest, uh, and I really, really like it. This one I did on a post-it note, and I cut around it, put it in here. That's of Mercury, by the way, which is Soul's uh, sibling. Ah, uh, yes. And then I wanted to draw uh, Dorian and Ruth more, so I decided to draw the triplets together. <laughs> and up here is when I got pearlescent watercolors, which were very cheap, but I wanted to try them out, so I swatched them up here. This is a little thumbnail, because these were done in pen as well. So that's why Coral's face looks weird, because I didn't get, wasn't able to change it, because it was pen. And then I did this one at a youth group. Uh, well, partially, I did the sketch. It was over a couple weeks that I did this, but I did this mostly in highlighters because uh, I wanted to be bright. But this is Seraphina once again in her story. Uh, one of the things that she goes into her world that's very, very similar to like kind of Alice in Wonderland vibes where you can't like trust things. And so, yeah, very cool. I did these uh, little scrapbook pages again. I did them in my last, uh, my yes, my last sketchbook. I don't even know what sketchbook I'm on now. <laughs> And I really liked them. So I did these uh, in my, uh, like, you know, throwaway sketchbook. And then cut them out and put them in here. Layered the background and stuff. So then this is Rune's Corner, which is uh, their uh, Twitch channel. It says, hello, beautiful, beautiful, wonderful people. And welcome to my corner of the internet. Which is, sounds very similar to my intro, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, then I did these two of Chaos and Nemesis because of their sisters. So I just together. I saw this uh, reference and I decided to draw Edwin and Rin. It says, I'm the king, bow to immortals, <laughs> which is very on brand. And then I did this kind of like, it laid, it looked like an old page in like a journal, but I didn't like the drawing underneath this. Like I didn't like how I colored it, so I put this over the top. But you can see it's Dante and Seftus. That's how you're supposed to say her, spell her name. You know. And then I did this little, if you can read this, it's fine. But these were like little things. Like I imagine Dante wrote this. That was like hiccup mid-sentence, wow. Ah, the creation of Locke. Yes. Uh, so Locke is a minor antagonist that I created for like a one of the volumes of the comic that I was eventually. And I really, really like that. So <laughs> I cannot complete that request. But I really like how he turned out. And then I was trying to practice expressions and like exaggerate more. I really, 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 really like this one. I think it turned out pretty good. This one's not too bad either. Uh, these are all Vin, by the way. And then I drew Rosalind down here because I never draw her. Stickers. Uh, this is a very unfinished page, but I drew Rory. Um, I don't have a name for her yet, but uh, he's bas she's basically Rory's little sister. He adopted her. <laughs> He adopted her as a sister. <laughs> and then this was Stormy and uh, Connie again, because I wanted to draw them together. Halfway spread. I, I've seen a lot of uh, artists do halfway spreads, and I, want, I, I usually do one in most of my sketchbooks. So I did this one of Soul and his siblings, which have become my favorite thing to draw recently. <laughs> Whenever I draw a page with Soul and all of his siblings, it always turns out as one of my favorite pages, which is this one is. So I did some, like silhouettes of each one. So if you can tell who each one of these is. <laughs> so halfway there. And then I was drawing Soul, this soul Siblings again. And then I drew this. Uh, so Mercury is in a band. Uh, and uh, it's called Solar. And each of the members is named after a different planet. Which is why I had to rename uh, uh, Coral's uh, kid uh, who, is all, who is named Mars. Because I wanted a care, uh, one of them to be named Mars. And then I drew Tess uh, who is another one of siblings. And Stevie. This is before she got a redesign, so. Uh, I drew this when uh, my 
uh, dad went to a it was I was at a dinner with my dad for his work or whatever. So I was drawing all these. This is one of my favorites. I I did from a reference on um, inspired from reference on Pinterest. Uh, this is Phoenix once again. Then I was trying to like try different poses. So that's a uh, soul, and then Rain and Soul was trying to do like exaggerated or whatever. And then it's still life of one of the cups that I was at the table where we were sitting. Ah, yes, angst. <laughs> oh, it bleed. It bled. Uh, you kind of figure out what's happening here. I forgot to add text on here, but it, it actually kind of works without it. I am only capable of drawing finished illustrations of Soul when he is in turmoil. Angst. You know. These things. I saw a couple artists do, like, uh, color-coded like pages or actually saw one do a color-coded sketchbook if I can remember who will put it somewhere but uh, I would I could do a whole color case sketchbook so I decided to do the color code pages these are the bane of my existence so here's pink with Faye uh, Rosalind Nemesis Evelyn and Stevie these are all little notes red which looks extremely pink because I use pink for shading of chaos Lula uh, Aldwin and Mercury, which I really, really like that drawing of Mercury. Um, uh, and then Orange, Alfie, Sorrel, Phoenix, which I actually really like this drawing of Phoenix, and uh, Triumph. Yes, that's Triumph. Never mind. I couldn't. I always Triumph and Truce's uh, designs and their names are very, very similar. I need to change that, and also their color schemes. Uh, so I, I, I get them confused sometimes. I get my own OCs confused. That's a sign that you have too many OCs. So, uh, oh my gosh, stop bumping the camera. Uh, this was yellow, so we have Ray, um, little, little Angie, Ang Atom Atomia in the corner, Tess, Truce, and Rory. I didn't know what to do, so I just put his name multiple times. Those are not as designed for his wings anymore, and I don't know if I'm contemplating if he should even be a fairy in the first place. It's in the works. Green, which was Deceit, Ash, Me, Blip, uh, Ariella, and Deduction. I really like this one of Deduction, mostly because of the stuff I added. And this, I like the concept of this one of Ariella because I like the screen. And I like, and Rin, which I actually really, really, really like. This is my favorite, like, of the, all of them. Like, I, of the pages, I like this uh, one of Pearl, uh, which was from another reference on. All of the main uh, big illustrations, other than that one, were from uh, different references on Pinterest. So if you see stuff, oh, except for that one, too. <laughs> uh, so if you see something like that, it's, that's why. And then Kai, Alistair, Makani in mermaid form. Uh, and coral, and then finally purple with uh, soul, <laughs> obviously, Amina, Casted, and uh, Tremor. Oh, and Callum. I really like this one of Callum too. This one was also for reference. This is when I created my Jedi character. Uh, I did a video um, at the beginning of June of drawing myself as a Jedi, and I like it. It turned out pretty good, but this was the concept of that. Uh, as you can see, I actually ended up going from this uh, drawing right here. Uh, I, I finished it digitally. Uh, so these are some of my thumbnails of different uh, stuff, but I was not happy with any of them. This is my original concept, but it was much too stiff, so I decided to go for that one. These were outfit design. This was, I was at my grandpa, grandma Aaron's house, and I wanted to draw a bunch of cats, so I took a, and I was missing my cats, so I pulled up a bunch of pictures of cats online, I started with these two, uh, three, three were the ones I did of cats online, and then uh, the rest of these were of my cats, so I drew my cats. And these two were, you know, those create character based off you, like if you're, like the shirt is the color of your eyes or whatever, I don't know, so I did a couple of those. This is world building stuff. Um, avians, which are what Eolanth is. Uh, I was trying, I wanted to use more subspecies of like different birds, inspired by different birds. So I was trying to think of all the roles for each of them. Cause I wanted, cause like they're very like a tribe or like roles orientated in their stuff. So I was working on that. This was also at my grandparents' house. 
Uh, and then I did a page of the Purple Sugar. I started over here because I liked to, I had this, I wanted to draw this, but I, I thought there had to be a, com a situation in which Soul would be doing this. So I did this. So since you'll leave me alone if I do this, yes, maybe. And I ran out of room for Roy's head, but you know, and then he did it in there screaming, wheezing, as I said, T tea kettle wheezing. And then I, Soul is a very, very salty boy, very salty about being short, and Rory is like six feet tall, uh, so he's trying to fly higher than so says, who's tall now, fairy boy? So, um, they, they're, they're great, I love them. Oh, there's a tag in here. Eat. And then I decided to do individual pages for each of the Trouble Trio, because I was having such a fun time drawing the Trouble Trio. So here's Rin, and I did some little notes of, uh, about them. So this is our sketchbook. It says, uh, they will hide it from you. Book nerd. Extrovert. Mullet. <laughs> yes, they have a mullet. Uh, and then Soul. This is actually one of my favorites. Uh, another one of my favorite pages. So there, there's this one. Angsty boy. Uh, I actually wrote in Posca all over here. Because I, I just got Posca shortly after this. And I was like, I must use them everywhere. But there's uh, me trying to experiment with style. And so uh, this is him on the train because he has to go to school in Edinburgh, which is very, very close to the town where they live in the book. Well, sad boy hours and playing piano because he plays piano and his platforms because he wears platforms to be taller. And Rory Jardin. He's very French, French boy. <laughs> so he plays violin and him and uh, what's her face? What's his face? What's her face? I don't remember her face. I don't know. I don't remember her name. So, and then adopted fawn sister. Or Posca. A fairy boy. Ah, more of the triplets. So, and it was their birthday. Uh, so I drew them here on the 25th of June. It was their birthday. So I drew that. And then I drew some expressions of them and Dorian and Reef. This is very, very, very on brand for Reef's personality. <laughs> okay, so I was at youth group and I, my friend had left her phone when she was playing games because I didn't want to play, so I left it. I was trying to draw this really fast so I could take a picture of it and put it on her phone so you've been bamboozled, but I didn't finish in time and I'm really sad about it. And then I drew uh, these two, which just Kaya and Justice, her sister. Uh, yeah. And then. Um, I saw this meme about uh, draw have drawing your characters holding a canvas of how they would draw themselves. <laughs> uh, Soul can kind of draw. He's got like a little bit of a style, and uh, <laughs> Rin's got a very very like big eye, bug eye, Powerpuff Girl cartoon style, uh, which I really which I love. <laughs> and then Rory can't draw, so. <laughs> And then uh, then I was filling in space here. So I drew them holding those canvases. This is, I got Posca, so I did this little ghosty boy. <laughs> and then I saw this thing of like a base, it was of a character in a shark onesie, shark uh, hoodie or whatever. And I thought of red, so, shark. And stickers. This is of a uh, store near, that is in my town. And then, uh, this was a, a raffle that they did, and I, I just put it in here. Stickers, uh, this was for my schedule for my youth group. And then I drew uh, ambition and deceit, and they prepare for trouble, make a double. <laughs> and then uh, I did this little drawing in my, uh, just my, at drug youth group, I just did my little uh, throwaway sketchbook, so I actually liked it, so I cut it out and put it here. And I dated it, it was July 2nd, I did this. These were much earlier I did them, but I put them all here on July 2nd. And this is the worst watercolor drawing ever known to man. I was trying to do like a kind of perspective one of the Trouble Trio being chaotic in the grocery store, but I uh, don't really like how that is, so. This is of a redraw of something I did in my very first sketchbook, which was la last year, a year and a half ago-ish. And uh, so I did all these again, especially with their updated designs. So choose your character. 
this is when I started to change my style, and I was very, very happy. <laughs> so, I guess we'll start here. These, these were chronological death first, I guess we'll go here first. So, chaos again, and I was redesigning a little bit because I wasn't happy with the design. And I, this is when I started to change my style, so. And then I did Kai. This one actually was done first, but, you know. And then I drew Rin. This is from a reference on Pinterest as well of someone holding a box, but I put it as a TV. That's, yeah. And then I, I think that's me. Is that supposed to be me? Why do I look so sad? <laughs> but I was practicing art style as well. And then this was a gift card my aunt gave me for my birthday. So I put it in here. Uh, it wouldn't be a sketchbook of mine without a drawing of Tremor on a roof. So I did this one of, I don't know why there's dots here, but we'll pretend that didn't happen. And then I was practicing art style more, so Ariella, uh, sweater gremlin noises. <laughs> and this is like my one of my favorite drawings in the entire sketchbook is this one right here, of Rin playing video games. <sighs> of course, don't you love unfinished work in your sketchbook? I was gonna do a full like watercolor illustration of this one with Rory, but actually like the design I might uh, finish this digital ink, but I'm just not motivated to finish it traditionally. I was in youth group once again. Feels like most of you, just, if you just see a, a page um, of mostly just designs and then with stuff behind it, uh, it's probably, I was probably a youth group just doodling. Uh, so I drew a mean, I was trying to practice uh, doing like st like a textured hair in this, this, this style. And I drew Rin, Squirt, <laughs> and uh, Rory once again, and uh, Mercury again, because I really like drawing them. And then I was doing another one that was like kind of choosy characters because I wanted to draw the whole game together again. And I drew this in my throwaway sketchbook because I was trying to figure out like a little like logo for the book. And then so I beat the cast out and then it's done key. I forgot to put Chronicles there, but it's fine. So, and then this is not spoilers, is it? No, no, it's not spoilers. Well, okay, that's spoilers, but let's, let's all cover that up. So, um, so Coral, Lorelai, Kai, uh, Alduin, Pearl, Elant, and Ayla. So, this is a messy page, but <laughs> it was me and Dumpster Fire. <laughs> I can't explain this. Uh, and then I had a little tag because I got a frog plush, so I put it in here. And then actual trash. Would you look at that? This is from, I found it in my room and I have no idea why I put it in here, but it's in here now. And then this one, a little one of Saturn. The background is watercolor. If you're wondering who Saturn is, you'll see in a couple pages. Also from my comic, if you're wondering. Uh, this is where I was testing watercolors. I had, I broke out some old watercolors. Um, I hadn't broken them out since. I did this one with, with uh, friends in like, February and I found these again and I was just testing them. Justice, scales are unbalanced. What does that mean? You'll never know. Oh, and then I did this. This is a little thing I got with my water bottle that I scribbled in it. Uh, yes. So, Serafina again, um, and I really like how it turned out. And then, uh, Rory, Nemesis. That doesn't even look like her, but we'll, we'll pretend I know what I'm doing. Little teddy bear boy. And then, once again, I try to do at least one self-portrait every, um, every sketchbook to kind of see, like, how I change and how I do stuff differently. So, it took me a while to get to this because I just wasn't really happy with my art style, so it didn't feel like a good time to do it. So, here we go. Uh-huh. So here is um, some more drawings. Um, uh, this is coral. I meant to color this, but uh, it's a little outfit for her. So imagine she's wearing coral, the color. I thought it was funny. Coral, cor coral, and coral, whatever. This was done on the 11th of July. Um, Crescent, Phoenix, Gasted, and Verity again. I actually really like drawing Verity, but I heard design's different because of plot reasons. <laughs> And then Venus and Mars are here, who are part of solar. 
So I did this big drawing of uh, all the people in Solar. So there's this is Saturn, the main singer, Venus, and Mars, who are the guitarists, and Mercury, and then Jupiter in the back, who is the, Jupiter is the key, the pianist, keyboardist. I don't know a word, and then Mercury is the guitarist. I actually really, really love this page. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's a little blech because of the stains, but it's okay. I actually really like how this turned out. <sighs> Here we go. Another unfinished drawing. I was going to do this as watercolor as well, but uh, it was mostly background practice, so I don't really need to finish it. Practicing perspective and all that. And then I did a little uh, zine uh, here. I think that's what they're called. Um, this one is Mars. I did all the Mars on the front. And I had paper, so I glued it in here. And this is all Posca. Um, did this little girl in a frog hood. Or frogs. And then uh, Floof. The gremlin. <laughs> Those were just uh, eye drawings. And then cats. So a sticker here. This is from another shop I ordered from uh, for getting stickers. I've also bought pins from them before. Uh, I will let me pull this off real quick so you could read it and support them because they have really good designs. Yeah, so if that was their Etsy, I bought it off of Etsy. And then another character who you don't know anything about, Ordeen. Who's Ordeen? I don't know. <laughs> Stickers. This is a page that I did for my Cats Choose My Art Supplies, which I did here. It's so loud. <laughs> And then uh, this is the thumbnail for it. I put a sticker here. I drew a little kitty because kitties. I put a cheetah's bag in here because I put actual trash in my sketchbook as we've seen. But yeah, if you want to see that video, I'll also link it. This was the redesign of the villains because I was unhappy with their designs. Except for Dante. Dante is pretty much almost exactly the same. But I like this drawing of his little face. Oh my gosh, camera. Thank you. Uh, so, and then there's Alistair again, which, uh, you've seen this design if you've seen my, uh, just my most recent animatic. Amina, which I did in, I actually drew this in, uh, highlighters, so it's a little weird, but I want her to be more dark, dark academia style. And then Ash, who I'm most happy with the redesign for, because, uh, she was very, very bland, and just good classic, like, edgy villain or whatever, but I wanted her to be kid core, because, uh, I wanted her, she looks unmenacing, which is the, the uh, pull point. She's not supposed to look like super menacing like the others, so. And then Stevie, this is when she got her like a uh, clown, kind of almost low year vibes. And this giant bow, which I drew once and I latched onto, because, mm, yes. And then I was doing a couple of redesigns, uh, or just, just draw, drawings of uh, some of the heroes. I kind of took the shirt off of Makani because I wasn't feeling it. So here it is now. She's got pinstripe shorts instead. Uh, and then Tremor and then Stormy. And then this is a character who is a more minor character. Uh, this is Moss. Uh, she's a goblin. I love her. Uh, I was trying to design their outfit up here. And then this is colored pencil because I got really, really into drawing with colored pencil. Like recently, like throughout this. So. Uh, and then this was my first big old watercolor I did. Uh, I'm not a super fan of it. It's not too bad. Um, it's just kind of muddy and the colors don't really make sense. But, uh, and it looks almost plain. Cause if the wall was just plain white and the carpet was green or whatever, it would look better. But, you know. And also the watercolor wasn't blended very well. But, you know, it's cheap watercolors. What can you do? And this is when... I really got into uh, color, uh, sketching with colored pencil. Almost like, I've seen other artists do it where they sketch with colored pencil and it looks really cool. I kind of got obsessed. <laughs> this is my favorite one down here, and especially because of the background, it looks really nice. Uh, of Soul, and then I really like this one of Stevie up here as well, and Ash over here. Uh, more, uh, I did more of these scrapbooky things because I was, you know. Uh, so this is uh, Stevie and Rory. Um, more colored pencil, as you can see. These are just some sketches. I was originally going to do all of these in colored pencil, but eh. I 
I never finished this drawing, but it's not too bad. I actually kind of like it. This was in ballpoint pen. This is in ballpoint pen. This was entirely. These all three were entirely in ballpoint pen, as well as this over here. And I really like this one of Rosalind as well. <laughs> He's actually blind, trying to read a letter. Um, I like this one. This is my favorite drawing in the entire sketchbook, just because it's how derpy it is. The chaotic duo you never knew you needed. And this one I did when I was at the coast. Uh, I like this one a lot. Um, this is uh, Sol, so yeah, Sol, Tessa, Mercury. I also really like this one too. Uh, and uh, Paisley and Tessa. So I do this one that says, Welcome to the Orioles, because that's their last name. And then this is when I redesigned my persona, which uh, they're Jackalope. And I like it a lot. This is not going to be like their main clothing design because I'm too indecisive to put them in just one clo uh, thing of clothing. So uh, it'll change depending on my season or just my mood. <laughs> These were little sticky tabs I bought uh, when I was out. <laughs> Finger guns. Uh, another one of the big illustrations. This one's I like a little bit. I like it, but it's like at the same, but for different reasons. I like the color scheme mostly, but the uh, it's very muddy, and I am not a fan of that. Although this is actually what their room looks like, so I'm really happy I settled on that. Especially because you know it's a comic, you want to have a uh, one room design and it to be uh, cohesive or whatever. So uh, this is uh, Jinx. I never draw Jinx. Uh, Jinx is a little pixie who is friends with uh, uh, Tremor. Um, I actually gave Trevor these giant glasses because I wanted to make them recognizable. And I really like it. <laughs> and the Jinx, uh, Shopaholic. And they're, they steal together because uh, Trevor's a thief and then Jinx helps him. He's just a little, a little, uh, tiny boy who will, uh, who can get in between places. Uh, another one of my favorite pages. Uh, I saw this, uh, comic one. I saw an incorrect quote on, uh, Pinterest and it made me think of them. I can hold the world in my arms. No, you can't. What are you, five? What are you doing? Holding the world in my arms. <laughs> I think Rose just tried, started crying. <laughs> They're bonding. It's fine. <laughs> but, yeah, I, it's fine. And then I drew uh, Rin in, like, fall attire with the pumpkin because I really want it to be fall. Please let it be fall already because uh, it was really hot. And this was one of those, like, expression charts, so I just chose random ones and random characters. Like by spinning a wheel or a load of those wheels, and I uh, did some expressions. I love this one's my favorite. Uh, this one's my favorite. I like this one, and uh, where is it? This one too. Ah, uh, so we're getting close to the end. So I drew my persona again in see different clothes, and I said, "Why is it so hot? Currently melting. It was 114 on the 29th when I was doing this." This is a uh, retro wormhole again. I had a business card from there, so I put it in here. I drew a little penguin. His name is Pablo. <laughs> and then I drew this one of Soul in, in color pencils again, and the Void Kitty to fill in the space. And then I saw another one of those bases, uh, and I it was inspired by it. And I did uh, the Trouble Trio at the cinema. And I really like this one, especially like the boots. I think the reflections are pretty good. I like it. Ah, this one's fun. I covered this entirely in receipts and then drew on top of it. Uh, if you can figure out who these characters are. Cool. <laughs> um, I like this one and this one. An unfinished one. I was going to finish this, but I, uh, it's, it's too late at this point. Uh, so this was supposed to be like, you know, like another one of those uh, silhouettes ones. So I did a uh, so of, of uh, Rin, Soul, and Rory. Uh, this is at uh, church again, as you can probably tell just by the stuff. So then I drew a Faye again, which I really like how this one turned out. Chronosis, who is uh, another important character in the comic. Edwin, uh, Alfie, and then Alfie again. I like this one a lot. I put a, sti and a sticker. Ah, more angst art. <laughs> this is almost the end. Uh, so, and then I was listening to a lot of villains, I was listening to a couple of villains, uh, Disney villain songs because I made that Mother Knows Best animatic. It says, this movie thing is so long, it's Prince Ali, the Prince Ali reprise, and he's being dragged away. 
Um, and then I drew uh, me saying it's finally done. And this is Rain holding the goals. So goals recap. My goals were a variety of backgrounds, foreshortening, drawing more guardians, uh, finish, more finished art, cohesive spreads, and acrylic painting. And I got four out of six. I was that enough that I gave me them. The only ones I didn't get to which were foreshortening, which I did basically none at all, and acrylic painting. Not in, I only did twice throughout the whole uh, thing. And these were my Posca pen, new Posca pens I got, so I swatched them here, and this is them again. And this is the end. So this, I decided to do like a little girl, I wanted to do like a little girl's night of Rose and Alfie, as you see here. So yeah, that's it, and stickers, and yeah, so that's, that's it. Holy cow, that took so long. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If so, you could consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. And it's two seconds, and you can always unsubscribe later if you don't if you don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> but why wouldn't you want to be here? Uh, I have some. Uh, I post every other Monday, and we have fun here. So once again, thank you all for so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.